The Circuit of the Americas is almost ready for its first event, and I, like many race fans, just can't wait for that first practice when the drivers head out and turn wheels and create a cacophony of colour and noise at this magnificent brand new facility. Welcome to the Asian Festival of Speed, where Motorsport Asia is going to make history. We're about to get underway then for the last round of the Porsche Infiniti and Carrera Cup Asia. The lights go out and Matthew Marsh gets a good start, but Darren O'Young defends this position well. Marsh goes round the outside to try and get there. They are neck and neck as they go through the first turn. What a great start. Hello and welcome to World Superbikes on Channel 4. Up go the tapes and away goes Hancock yet again. Rickards and left standing. Matty Zagor in white cuts back on the inside. But on the outside in yellow, Yarek Handel comes through to second place. We are here live at the Stade de France right here on HDNet. Yes, we have got something very special for you this evening. In a few moments time, they're going to come out to this. This is one of the biggest nights in motorsport and one of the biggest weekends. You've got Le Mans, you've got the Canadian Grand Prix, there's motorbike racing, but you won't beat this atmosphere here at the Millennium Stadium. Out go the lights and a good start from Troy Corsa and a good start from Pitt. Martin didn't get away too well and from the second row coming through it's Chris Walker into what, fifth place at the moment. The Circuit of the Americas is brand new to you, but I know you love learning new circuits and you got a chance uh, to come here in March uh, and, and try out the road bike, the Panigale R. First of all, your impressions of the Circuit of the Americas. Yeah, it's really incredible. I mean, believe the hype. Everything you've heard about it is, uh, I would say, pretty legit. Round four of the World Superbikes comes from Monza, which is about 15 kilometers northeast of Milan. This week, we're in Rimini, Italy, the beautiful sun coast of Italy. And as you can see, the Superbike boys are coming by sea. It's round six from Mazzano for San Marino. We're going to go fast if we're going to go on a yacht, get some V8 boys, and that's who's coming with me. Oh, oh shit! <coughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. And that wasn't it. planned. There are the Swindon fans, coach loads coming up from Swindon tonight. And here we are, right in the middle, in the thick of it. Special K is with me, Kelvin Tatum, and. Kelvin, the buzz, I've never seen anything like it. So the lights go on. We're racing at Macau for the 52nd time. Lloyd Duval gets away well, but so too does a man in second place, Robert Kubica. So with three rounds left, just eight points separated the top four, and the top five could all win the championship, including Frankie Keeley. Now, I've been to most of the Grand Prix circuits around the world, and in my opinion, the Circuit of the Americas is without doubt second to none. We're about to get underway from Daytona. Maybe I do need some expertise. So I was scratching my head and I thought, well, he's got to be from Texas and I needed expert. So who better than two-time world champion and MotoGP legend, Colin Edwards. I just happened to be in the neighborhood, man. Actually, is full of stories. And he told me that on a four-day weekend of racing, his staff may repair, change engines, and replace bodywork on as many as 40 different cars and bikes. How excited are you for 2013? Very much, because uh, I come from too difficult uh, season. Let you just consider that Nicky Pedersen is out in the first heat. So too is Andreas Jonsson. So too is Thomas Gollop and Jason Crump. That's what our former world champion Gary Havelock is up against in the heat one. That's how tense it is down here at the moment, boys. It's going to be a great World Cup. Looking forward to it. Back to you. The V8 supercars of Australia are coming to Austin, Texas in May 2013. So I've come to Eastern Creek in Australia to find out what it's all about. Oh, oh no! Frankie Geely is off at Surtees. And just one mistake, that just shows what the edge they were on. And poor old Frankie Keeley is out of this one, having just taken the lead. The circuit's signature corner will be Turn 1, which rises 133 feet from the start-finish in the main grandstand, up the hill into a very, very tight, almost hairpin-like first gear corner. Here comes Tozen to the last corner, but here comes the battle for second. Keeley just ahead of the moment. Here comes Harger up the inside of Laconi, but Laconi shuts the door and Laconi's going to take third. Tozen takes victory. With me, the big man, Martin Johnson, and a big day, really, for American football. And I know you're a big fan. Looking forward to it as an honorary captain. Nice, uh, nice group of uh, cheerleaders there. Jonathan Green here from Sky TV. Now, please join me in welcoming Cherry Tree Records multi-platinum recording artist, The Feeling! Now it is the chance for the big boys to do their stuff around the streets of Singapore. We'll be back from Shanghai from me, Jonathan Green. Bye-bye for now.